Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss in detail about the for loop. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. For loop repeats a group of statements for specified number of times. Okay, if you want to repeat a statement for 100 number of times or some 10 number of times or some 5 number of times for a specified number of times if you want to run a group of statements then we will use the for loop. Now let me discuss the syntax for using for loop in python. For for loop we will use a keyword called for okay let me write properly for variable in sequence okay and then indentation will start and then you have to provide the group of statements now look at here what are the statements you want to execute these statements you will provide them now this sequence can be a list or it can be a tuple or it can be a set or it can be a dictionary or it can be a range okay the sequence can be a range of elements or it can be the elements which is there in the list tuple set and dictionary now first let me discuss with a simple example for better understanding now let me take that i have declared or initialized a list for you so this list consists of parnika Okay, Jagadish, then let's take that Siri, okay, these are the elements are there in the list. Now I want to print all of the elements which are there in the list, then I can use the for loop, okay, I will use the keyword for, okay keyword for and then I will use some variable okay name okay for name in i okay where i is the list then I will print okay once you enter the column and press the enter then indentation will start now print name okay is it clear if you write this one look at what will happen now at the index 0 parnika is there that will be stored in i so in will be sorry that will be stored in the name and then you are printing so first parnika will be printed as an output then next jagadish will be printed as an output and then siri will be printed as an output so this is the way you can print all the elements which are there in the list using the for loop okay now let me discuss how can you use the range in the for loop for using the range we will write like this for a variable in range okay then in the range you will have three parameters one is the starting where you want to start the range okay stop and step these are the three parameters we will provide suppose let's take that if i provide range as okay one five two simply the meaning is that starting is one from one this for loop should start okay and it should end up to four because if you provide a n value here then it will stop up to n minus one and the increment is now you started from one next it will be three next it will be five so on up to n minus one so what will be your step function there is it clear whether you want to increment by one you want to increment by two or you want to increment by three that you will provide okay now look at here if you provide start stop step it is fine if you does not provide the start then by default it will consider the value zero you need to provide the stop if it does not provide the stop then it will not work 
okay and step if you does not provide by default it will be one so if you say a range five okay is it clear then it will be from zero and it will go up to four because you did not provide the start but the by default the start will be zero and you did not provide the step by default the step value will be one so it started from zero then one then two then three then four if you provide the stop as five then it will go up to four if you provide the stop as n it will go up to n minus one now let me discuss with a simple example for you for okay i in range okay as 1 6 2 and I am printing I is it clear I am want to print the I then what will happen you look at here I will be 1 that is the start so 1 it will first print the 1 okay then increment by 2 then next I value will become 3 now it will verify it will go up to 6 means it will go up to 5 okay so it is fine 3 will be printed then 3 plus 2 5 5 will be printed that is the meaning of this one i hope you got the point if you provide the start stop and step that is fine if you does not provide start by default it will consider the value as 0 step value is 1 suppose if you simply write here 10 then what will be the output it will print the values from 0, 1, 2, 3, so on up to 9. Is it clear? Because you did not provide the start and the step. They will be considered as default values such as 0 and 1 respectively. Now we will verify these things in the Jupyter notebook for a better understanding. Now let me take a list variable called list1 having several elements such as Parnika, then Jagadish and it has a third element called Siri because these are the three elements are there in the list one now I want to display all the elements in the list using the for loop so I will use a for keyword and the variable name is I in list one and I need to give the column and then once I press enter indentation will start so whatever the statements you want to write inside the for loop you can write here if i write print i then first parnika will be displayed as an output then jagadish then siri if you have a doubt you can look at here now the same thing if you want to display in a single line okay you don't want to print all the elements in a list in a multiple lines you want to display in a single line then you can write like this print i comma end is equal to give a space by default end will be backslash n because after printing the parnika it's gone to the new line and then it printed jagadish then it went to the new line and then siri has printed now if you write you are changing the end you are giving what in a single quote space so you are giving a space so after printing parnika you want a space then jaggery should be printed then space then siri should be printed now look at what will be the output see parnika is printed then once space came then jagadish then siri now let me discuss how can we use the range in the for loop so for some j in a range okay we will have three parameters in the range one is the start another one is stop and another one is step suppose let me give the start as one stop as four and by incrementing should be one and if i write print j now if you give end is equal to single quote space now what will happen first one will be printed as an output then 2 will be printed as an output then 3 if you have a doubt you can verify it so 1 comma 1 2 3 with a space has been printed as an output
Now look at here. For some k in a range, if I give only value 4, okay, then if I print k comma n is equal to, I am giving a space. So, what will be the output? First it will print 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. If you have a doubt, let me run this one. See, you got the output as 0, 1, 2, 3. I hope it is very clear for you. If you have any doubts related to the for loop, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.